Hello and welcome to AC Electronics. This video is a quick revision of linear chords. We will be discussing what are the conditions or what are the criteria of linear chord words and what are block chords, how to prepare or how to form a generator matrix of a block chord, how the generator matrix is actually looking like. We will be seeing all these things in this video and towards the end we will be seeing how a chord word can be defined as a linear chord word with the help of an example. That is. Uh, we will be checking that whether the given chord word is a linear chord word or not and whether it is satisfying all the three conditions or not. Okay, so all these things we will be seeing in this video. So let us see what is linear chord words, what are block chords and what is the generator matrix of a block chord. So in this video we are going to discuss about linear chords or linear chord words. So, these linear chords are used for forward error correction. So, these are actually error correcting chords which is used in information theory and coding. Okay. So, a linear chord word has following features. First, we will see the features and then we will see the classification. So, a chord word is said to be linear chord if it satisfies these three conditions. If C1 and C2 are two chord words of a particular uh, chord then c1 plus c2 equal to c3 is also a valid chord word okay so there is a set of chords in which c1 and c2 is present then c1 plus c2 equal to c3 should be also be present in that set okay so that is a first property second property is that all zero is a valid chord word that is consider that there is a set 0 0 1 0 0 sorry 0 1 0 likewise then 0 0 0 is also a valid chord word okay so that is the second property all 0 is a valid chord word in linear chords then the third property is that the minimum distance between any two chord word is equal to the minimum Hamming weight minimum Hamming weight means minimum number of non-zero elements and also while calculating the Hamming weight we does not count all zero chord okay excluding all zero chord what is the minimum number of non-zero elements in any chord word is the minimum Hamming weight and that should be equal to the minimum distance between any two chord words okay you'll be uh, very clear about all these properties when we do the example towards the end of this video but just know that these are the three properties first one is when c1 and c2 is uh, two chord words means c3 is that is the sum of C1 and C2 is also a chord word. All 0 is a chord word and minimum distance is equal to the minimum Hamming weight. Now, this linear chords can be classified as two categories, linear block chords and linear convolutional chords. Okay, in this video, we will be discussing about linear block chords. Okay, and also there is a hybrid of these two which is called turbo chords. Okay, so the linear chords has mainly three classifications block chord convolutional chord and a hybrid of the block and convolutional chords which is the turbo chords next we are going to see about block chords and then we'll be seeing a small example and we'll be checking whether a given chord word is linear block chord or not so the first type of linear chord is block chords and examples of the block chords are some of the main examples are Hamming chord, Hadamard, and Reed Solomon chord. So, if you have studied ITC, I'm sure that you have heard these terms. Now, what is actually a block chord? The term block chord refer to any error correcting chord that act on k bits of input data to produce n bit output data. That is, the input given is k and there is the chord generator which produces a n bit chord word. So, k plus some bits will give you n. Okay. So, that is the block chord. Simple block definition of block chord. Now, what are the parameters of the block chord? So, the very simple definition or a presentation of a block chord is n k. Where n is the chord word length out of which k is the input data or message length okay so there are two variables n is the chord word length k is the message length so out of this chord length 
only k is the message that is the valid information okay then rate rate of a block code is defined as the ratio between the message length and the block length that is k by n is the rate of the block code then the last parameter and the fourth parameter is the distance small d the distance between or distance of a block code is the minimum number of positions with which the code words differ consider that there are two code words 0 0 1 0 okay 0 0 1 1 0 and 0 0 1 0 now how many number of positions with which this code words differ 0 is there 1 is there 1 and 0 so only one bit position okay so the minimum distance is d so likewise there will be set of various number of code words in a block okay and what is the minimum distance between any two code words that is a minimum number of bit positions with which the code words differ that is d so here consider that there is one code 0111 there is another code word 0000 okay so what is the minimum distance with which the code word differ you have to take all combinations and see what is the minimum distance so this one is 0110 so the minimum difference between these two code words is 1 here you have to you don't have to take all 0 and here what is the positions with which the bits differ again 1 okay so minimum distance is 1 so sometimes there will be 2 also consider that there is 0 here sorry here is also yeah here you can put 1 and here again consider that it is 1 now how many positions with which these two code words differ there are 2 right so these two code words differ in 2 bit positions right so here if you take these two code words has a difference or position bit position difference of 2 and these two code words has a position difference of 1 and if you take these two code words again the bit position difference is more actually there are three bit position difference so you have to take the minimum from 1 2 and 3 which is 1 so i'll explain d once again d is the minimum distance of block code and the minimum number of it is the minimum number of positions with which two code words differ okay i hope it is clear so you have to see each bits and what is the minimum number of positions with which any two code words is differing if it is one then you have to take one and if there are three changes if there is one there is two and there is three you have to take the minimum or the least value which is the one okay so that is d so the popular notation of a block code is nkd where n is the code word length k is the message length and d is the minimum distance of block code okay so these are the parameters of a block code now we are going to see what is the generator matrix of a block code so we are going to see about generator matrix now generator matrix is a way of generating code words through matrix multiplication so you can represent a code word w equal to s into g where s is your input message vector g is the generator matrix now what is the way of representing a generator matrix is like this it is i k bar p where i k is the k by k identity matrix it is a k by k means k rows and k columns and it is an identity matrix then p is the parity matrix and it is having k rows and n minus k columns now i'll give you a small example for 6 3 generator matrix for all block codes there are generator matrix and they are constants okay so 6 3 4 6 3 block code 
here 6 3 means it is nk n is the code word length k is the message length which is 3 n is 6 so the generator matrix will look like this we'll see what is i and what is p so i is a k by k matrix here k is 3 right so it is a 3 by 3 identity matrix 3 by 3 means 3 rows and 3 columns how will the identity matrix of 3 rows and 3 columns looking like it is like 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 so all the diagonal elements will be 1 that is an identity identity matrix right so you can see it over here the next one is the k by n minus k that is k rows and n minus k here is n is 6 minus k is 3. The, that is 6 minus 3 again 3. So 3 columns. So this is the parity matrix. And this combined together. If this identity and parity matrix combined together forms the generator matrix. Okay. So this is a simple way of representing a generator matrix. That is ik slash p. Okay. And using this generator matrix, we can form chord words by performing simply matrix multiplication. Now, let's uh, we are next, uh, next we are going to see a small example of linear chord words. We will check whether the given set of chords is linear block chords or not. So, the question is, there is a set of chord words given. You have to check whether the given chord word is linear chord or not. So, for checking this, you have to recall the conditions of a chord being linear chord. The first one is, if C1 and C2 are two chord words, then C1 plus C3 is a chord word or a valid chord word. Okay. This is first condition. We will check for the first condition. We will take two, any two chord words from this. We will take... The first one which is 0, 0, 0, 0. And then we will take the second one. 0, 1, 0, 1. Perform binary addition. 1, 0, 1, 0. Yeah. That is again a valid chord word. That is present in this set. Right. So that is satisfied. Next one. We will take another two chord words. That is 0, 1, 0, 1 and the next one we will take. That is 1, 0, 1, 0. Adding these two, 1, 1, 1, 1. Again a chord word present in this set. Okay. So similarly, if you take any two chord words and add them together, you will get a chord word which is present in this, in this set. Okay. So the first condition is satisfied. That is Adding of two chord words will create again a, another chord word present in this set. Okay, so the first condition is satisfied. Second condition is in order for a chord to be linear chord, all zero is a valid chord. If you check here, there is an all zero chord word, right? So the second condition is also satisfied. Third condition is the minimum distance between any two chord word is equal to the Hamming distance. First, before finding the minimum distance between any two chord words, let's see what is the Hamming distance of this chord set. So, this is a chord set. Right. So, what is the minimum Hamming distance in of this chord set? So, for finding minimum Hamming distance, we will, won't take this all zero element. So, other than this, we will take all the other chords and we will find what is the Hamming distance. Hamming distance is nothing but the minimum number of non-zero elements. So, here, how many non-zero elements are present? 2. Here, how many non-zero elements present? 2. Here, 4. Right. So, what is the minimum of 2, 2 and 4? It is 2. So, the minimum Hamming distance is 2. Now, let us see what is the minimum distance between the chord words and let us see both are equal or not. Okay. Now, we are going to find the minimum distance between any two chord words. 
that is a minimum distance with which the positions are differing so we'll take these two 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 so what is the difference minimum difference here there is 1 2 3 and 4 so minimum difference is 4 bit positions or it is 4 right next take the second one this and this 0 1 0 1 and 1 1 1 1 what is the difference in positions it is 1 and 2 so second is 2 bit positions then now let's take this and this that is 1 0 1 0 and 1 1 1 1 what is the minimum difference in positions or what is the difference in positions it is 2 bit difference right so there is a 2 bit difference in these two chord words okay so 2 bit position difference is there now you have to take the minimum from these 3 which is 2 okay so the minimum bit position difference between any two chord words is equal to the hamming distance okay so this hamming distance is equal to minimum distance d okay now i hope you have understood clearly the concept of minimum distance which we have discussed while discussing the properties okay so only when you do these type of examples you will get clear or crystal clear you'll get crystal clear ideas okay so these are the three conditions for a chord being a linear chord and all the three conditions are satisfied by this given chord set okay so hence we can say that the given chord set is actually a linear chord okay so you have to check for the first condition which is c1 plus c2 is equal to c3 for all the chords and you have to check whether all zero element is present or not and also you have to take the hamming distance and you have to check whether it is equal to the minimum distance or minimum bit position difference between any two chord words in that set if both are equal then the third condition is also satisfied and hence we can say that this given set is a linear chord word or chord set okay so in this video we have discussed about what is linear chord word what is what is the criteria or what are the criteria of a chord being a linear chord and also we have discussed about the basics of block chords and also the generator matrix and the structure of the generator matrix okay so i really hope that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who's preparing for any exams semester exams or competitive examinations and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching